the first type of hydrolyzable lipid we're going to talk about are going to be waxes. So waxes are esters. So again, an ester is when you have a C double bonded to O, uh, bonded to an O with carbons on either side. And uh, the one thing to hear about waxes, if you learned this material back, back in chapter 13 when we talked about esters, there's really nothing new here. Um, the only thing that really classifies uh, these particular molecules as waxes are that the, the um, carboxylic acid part comes from a fatty acid, so a long carboxylic acid, and then an alcohol that has a long or a high molecular weight or a long uh, hydrocarbon part. So back in chapter 13, we said that a carboxylic acid plus an alcohol makes an ester in water. So here for a wax, we're saying the exact same thing, except instead of saying carboxylic acid, we're going to say a fatty acid, which is really just a large carboxylic acid. And then it's still an alcohol, but in this case, it's a high molecular weight alcohol. Um, so it's still the same principle, just a different name when we talk about waxes. So waxes are useful um, for a lot of different uh, living organisms. So for instance, birds, if you've ever felt like a bird feather has like a waxy feeling to it, that helps make them, make them water repellent. You can imagine if a bird's feather got really wet and kind of absorbed the water, it would be much harder for them to fly. They wouldn't go very far. They'd have to use a lot more energy at least to flap those wings if they were soaking wet and heavier. Um, on plants, right, it helps. Uh, there's a waxy coating on leaves to help prevent water evaporation, kind of maintains everything on the inside. Um, beeswax, in the name, beeswax is wax. Uh, and you can see here's the structure of beeswax. It's also known as marisol palmitate. But you can see this part is a 16 carbon chain, 16 carbons. So the, the original carboxylic acid that was made from this was 16 carbons long, right? The 14 that are in the parentheses and the extra two make 16. And then the alcohol part is over here, and that's 30 carbons. So again, it's a beeswax is formed from the combination of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. The carboxylic acid would be 16 carbons long. The alcohol would be 30 carbons long. You put them together, you end up with a really large ester, which we call a wax. Um, similar to what we talked about in chapter 13 with esters, and the reason we can uh, consider waxes as a hydrolyzable lipid, they can be hydrolyzed. So uh, esters, as you recall, can be um, hydrolyzed in the presence of acid or a base, and they are going to form the individual fatty acid and alcohol. So just like we said that it was a fatty acid plus an alcohol forms a wax or an ester, in this case the wax or an ester can be broken down into the fatty acid or an alcohol. So as shown here, what you do is you break the C double bond or the bond between the, the carbonyl carbon and the other O. That's the bond that's going to break. Remember for water, instead of drawing it as H2O, we can draw an H and an OH. We're going to take this OH and it's going to come over there and go to where that carbonyl is. That's what makes the fatty acid. This H comes over there and that's what makes the alcohol. So again, exact same reaction that you looked at in chapter uh, 13. Now you get to try it again with slightly larger molecules here in waxes.